guys, we made it to 10, number 10, and it is frozen this time around. Now, I'll, I never talked about this, but I feel kind of embarrassed to say it, but I, when I first saw it, I became a huge Frozen fan because I had a Disney Store play set of it, a, to, a toy set of it, Disney Infinity, Elsa and Anna set, and a drawing book of Frozen that recreates the film for the most part. And so I watched this a couple of times, but it's been a while. The last time I saw it was in July of 2022. And now I saw it today for Disney 100, and I thought the film is still really a really great movie. I really like it a lot. It's pretty solid. First up, the animation is, is spectacular. All the characters look very wonderful, and the snowy aspect looks well drawn and very realistically animated and when it, and the ice as well too and voice acting is pretty good everyone from Kristen Bell, Santino Fontana, Josh Gad and Mr. Tudyk as Whistleton do, or Whistleton is Whistleton Duke Wilsonton, he is very funny in this movie, especially when he accidentally got his hair kind of removed in the beginning, and but then and then when he was sort of taken to his town, I thought he was very funny. I think my two favorite characters are Olaf and Anna. I thought they were very funny and great characters. Um. Like yeah, this movie's and of course the songs are really good. It open door is very good. This is summer. It's probably my favorite out of all of them. Like all of steals the show. Just can't. You did great. And for a first time, forever was really good. And of course, the White Girl song. Of course, it's actually pretty decent. I'm kind of. I'm always embarrassed to listen to it, but. Pretty, I guess, pretty solid. So I think it's a bit too solid because I think it's the one. The I think that song makes you. It makes you think. Makes it's what makes you think of Frozen. So um yeah, so those are my positives for Frozen because I had two grants with this movie, just minor ones. One is, I thought the deaths of the parents were kind of rushed out. Like it's just. Happened out of nowhere. It just had where the the sisters grow up, but then they then the parents are taken to a boat, and then they just die of uh, water. Like it's just cut to them dying. It's just kind of uh, weirdly edited. Like they probably should have add like maybe like one scene that was set of their deaths. Like there's something ish like a boat problem or something like that. Because it feels kind of weird be that they just die after going to a boat. Another grind with this movie is a weird one. And that is with the character of Prince Hans. Now I'll be honest with you, when I first saw the film, I was uh, very obsessed with this character. He was my favorite character in the movie. And he was amazed because he he was the villain of it, and a lot of times those are my favorite, like The Lion King, Beauty and the Beast, and later The Lego Movie 2, and Eternals. But now watching this, he is... Okay. I'll be honest with you, like, when he was a good guy for half the movie, he's actually a pretty decent character, I really like him a lot. And I thought his costumes are really good, especially the main one, the white, blue, and purple suit. Like, it looks pretty, really good. I really like that suit. But when he becomes the villain at the end of it, like, Oh, Anna, if only there was someone out there who loved you. He's pretty wasted. I mean, yeah, it's, that's been foreshadowed a lot. But I think his villainy is pretty wasted. Like, he only plans is to 
to rule the kingdom by killing both Lane by killing Elsa and laying Anna to die. But that's pretty much it. He doesn't really do that much evil besides laying Anna die and kill Elsa. That's pretty much it. So So I think he's a pretty decent character as a supporting one. But as the villain, he's like I said, wasted. But other than that, but I still like the character a lot. I really like the character Hans. It's a pretty decent character. And so I have seen Frozen 2 just in case. I liked it, but it's not as good as the first one. But other than that, yeah, that's pretty much it to talk about this movie. So, uh, yeah, so that's it for this Disney 100 Day 10. Countdown, peace out, bye. So, day 10 for Halloween is Jaws, the 1975 classic directed by Steven Spielberg. And it's believed to be like the impact for blockbuster films. And I really thought this film was solid. It's okay. I'll be honest with you, like the movie's okay when it's just the uh, about the humans talking about like trying to help humans by not going to the water and trying to stop the shark. But sorry about that, I just ate. But when uh, it goes shark mode. It's really cool. It's and the kills are very bloody and violent, spe and uh, and really good, especially for a PG film. I, I still can't believe to this day it's PG, considering how bloody, because there's a lot of blood in this. And the movie begins with, uh, with a girl Christy, going on going on the water naked, and you can see some parts of her naked torso. But other than that, I th I thought the kills were pretty solid, especially the final one, the Alex kill and the Chrissy kill. And, I, and of course, you can't talk about John without talking about the theme. <laughs> Classic. But I thought the actors did well, especially Roy Shader. As the main character. And that rubber shell was interesting one. One thing that's interesting. One funniest part about it is the fake uh, shark got. Where a lot of people think that they got the real shark. By losing their the shark's teeth. But the main, three main characters don't think that that's the right shark. And I don't, and I don't know where that comes from. <clears throat> and I thought the kids in the movie were pretty funny and kind of cute. And I thought the final climax was pretty awesome, especially when when like I said he, the sh shark killed Robert Shaw and one of the characters tried to uh, attack the shark, but the shark keeps attacking him underwater, and the way Robert Roy Shader. Kills the shark with a gun by exploding him with an oxygen gas. That was pretty awesome. And, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for my Just Halloween 2023. Peace out. Bye.